Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw the Electro Wizard from Clash Royale. We start on the left side of the lower edge of the brow. So starting from the outside, we're going to curve down and inwards. To right about there. Underneath the brow line, we're going to draw in the eye. So it's a half circle, starting from the left side here, curving down, and then tucking that in underneath. We're going to draw the iris and the pupil, so a smaller half circle, tucked in underneath. And in the middle, we're just going to draw a little black dot. Underneath the eye here, we're just going to draw a little eye bag. So from this point, we're going to curve down underneath the eye. Let's draw on the rest of the eyebrow. So from the front edge here, we're just going to angle back over towards the left. Now we're going to curve the top about halfway along the brow, curving across like this. From the, this point here, we're going to angle in and up. Now we're going to curve the top of the brow going outwards, and it's going to extend beyond that point there. So just curving out like that. Let's draw a little zigzag on the back here. So from this point, we're just going to angle back in, and then we'll just come down an angle to the bottom of the brow line. Let's go over to the right side and draw the right eye. So we're going to draw a circle, because this eye is open wide. So from here at the top, draw a circle, coming down to the bottom, and back up to the top. Let's draw the iris and pupil. So it's not going to be dead center. We're going to shift it inwards just a little bit, but we're going to have to draw a little highlight here. So we're going to draw a little circle for a highlight on the inside, and we're going to draw a smaller circle underneath. So starting at the bottom of the highlight, we'll draw a circle for the iris, and in the middle we'll just draw a black dot for the pupil. Underneath the side, let's draw another eye bag. So right up here, I'm just going to curve underneath the eye. Let's draw on the eyebrow. So this eyebrow is going to be raised up higher, so it's almost the same thing as this, but just flipped over. So we're just going to start above the eye with a curve, going from the inside, and then curving out. We're going to take the center point here and angle upwards over towards the right. We're going to curve along the top about halfway. Then we're going to go up with a short angle. Now we're going to extend this out. We're going to go outwards to the top of the brow here and we'll connect those two points with an angled line. Now that we have the eyes in place, we can start drawing in the rest of the face. So in between the eyes here, we're going to draw the sides of the nose. So two short straight lines coming down side by side. From the bottoms here, we're going to step up on the left side just slightly and curve down the side of the nostril, and then on the right we'll curve out in the opposite direction. Now we're going to curve down the sides of the nostril, coming in, leaving a gap in the middle, and we'll close it off with a straight line along the bottom. Let's draw in the mustache, so it almost looks like a lightning bolt. So from the tip of this nostril here, we're just going to go straight out with a straight line. We'll do the same thing on the right side, going out. Now from here, we're going to go up with a short line. We'll do the same thing on the right side. We're going to extend this out again. So we're going to go outwards with a straight line on both sides. Now we're going to come up in a slight angle going in towards the eye. Now we'll draw the tip of the mustache. So from here, we're going to curve out. On the right, we'll curve out. Now we're going to work our way back in, but we need a finishing point here. So in the center here, we're going to curve out towards the left curve down and out towards the right. Now we're going to work our way up towards the tip here. So from this point, we're going to curve about halfway along this line here. So from this point, we're going to curve up and out. We're going to go up with a slight angle. Now we're going to curve out again, so about halfway along this line. We're going to go out. We're going to go up in an angle. And now we're going to make our way towards that point, curving in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to curve along the bottom of the mustache, we'll go up in a slight angle, we'll curve out again, go up and in in a slight angle, and then just make our way towards the tip, just like that. Let's draw on the bottom of the mouth. So from left to right, I just want to draw a curve that goes in towards the mustache and then down on the right side. Starting down here, curve in towards the mustache, then down on the right side. From these two points, we want to round them out and curve underneath the mustache, curving inwards. We're going to draw the sides of the teeth. So from this point here, we'll angle down and in towards the bottom of the mouth on both sides. Color the outside edge in black. And then underneath the mouth, I'm just going to draw a little curve to indicate the lower lip. Let's draw on the sides of the head. So just underneath this eyebrow, right here, I'm going to curve down to the top of the mustache. On the right side, we're going to start up here, 
curve down towards the mustache. We're going to extend this down towards the jaw. So continue this line down past the mustache on either side, about the same height as the mouth. Now we're going to chisel in the jawline. So from here, we're going to curve down and in, about the same width as the mouth. Curve down and in. Now we want to connect those two points with a curve for the bottom of the chin. Coming down in the middle and back up on the right. Let's go up and draw in the rest of the hairline. So from here, we want to continue the line upwards above the eyebrows, going up. Now here, it's just going to be a little line like that. We want to angle inwards, so two short angled lines going up and in. Now we want to make our way towards the center of a widow's peak. Right here, we're going to draw a little point. From the left side, we'll curve down and in, and then go back up on the right side. I want to add a few little wrinkles on the top of the forehead. So right up here, from eyebrow to eyebrow, I'm just going to draw a little curve like that and then one short one just above it. Let's draw in the hair spikes. So from this point, we're gonna go up in sort of a zigzag pattern going upwards. So from here, we're gonna go up with a short line. Now we're gonna curve over towards the right. We're gonna go out towards the left with a short angled line. Now we're gonna curve again to the tip of the hair. We're gonna work our way back towards that point here. So curving down with a short line, going out towards the right with an angle, now we're going to come down in an angle to right about there and then make our way with a curve to the top of that head there. Let's layer in the hair on the sides. So from this point, I'm going to angle up and out toward the left. We're going to curve down. We're going to go back up again in an angle. And now I'm going to curve down towards the tip of the hair. Again, we're going to make our way back and I'm going to end up right at that point there. So angling in with a curve. Coming down with an angle, we'll go up with a short line, now I'm going to curve in towards that top of that head. Let's do the same thing on this side. So now we're going to start on this side this time, going up at an angle, curving down, going up at an angle, and then curving down towards the tip. Again, we're going to make our way down here. So working our way backwards, curving, coming down, curving across. Now I'm going to make our way down with a curve to that point there. Let's do another layer. So from that same starting point, we're going to curve out towards the left. Come down at an angle. Now we're going to go up. Now I'm going to curve down. Curving down. We're going to work our way back in towards the head. Curving up again. Coming down. Now this is going to get tucked in behind this eyebrow. So I'm just going to go up and then just curve it right into that eyebrow line. Let's do the same thing on this side. So going up, and angle down, go up and out towards the right, now curving towards the tip. Now we'll work our way back in towards the side of the head. So curving out, down, up, and then I'm just gonna curve this in behind the head there. Let's add in one more. So right here, I'm gonna go out in an angle, down. Now we're just going to go up. Up with an angle. We're going to work our way back. So angling down, going up, and then we'll just pull this into the side of the head. Do the same thing over here. So going up, angling down, and then back up. We'll work it back. So going down. So you can see it's getting thicker as we work our way back towards the head. Up, and we'll just pull this in sort of behind the mustache there. We're going to have to draw in the ears tucked in behind, so we'll just see a little bit of this. So right here, we just want to curve in towards the side of the head. On this side, again, it's going to get tucked in behind the mustache, so you'll see just a little bit of it in, in between there. Let's draw on the tops of the shoulder. So just underneath the ears, I'm just going to draw a curve going out towards the left. Right underneath the earlobes, curving out towards the right. These are going to come in towards the center, but let's draw on the center point first. So just on either side of the chin, right here, I'm going to curve down to right about there. This is sort of where I want to draw in the belt buckle. Let's draw on the buckle. So it's a big square. Starting here, we're going to just overlap those two lines going across. We'll come down on either side and then close it off at the bottom. We're going to draw a smaller square on the inside. So just tracing it out. Let's draw the inside vest. So from the left, 
we're just going to angle in towards the center and then up towards the right side and then from this point here we're just going to pull it straight down behind the buckle. Let's draw on the sides of the belt. So now we're going to determine the width of the body here. So from this corner we're going to step down and just curve up and out towards the left. Down here we're going to step down, curve up and out towards the right. So this is the top edge of the belt. Now we can finish off the vest. So from these corners we're just going to pull this in towards the center of this line here. So curving down and in. Do the same thing on the right. So curving down, which is trying to match up the height as you get into the inside. Now here we just want to curve the sides of the body. So from the side of the belt, we're just going to curve up and underneath the shoulder area. Both sides. Now let's draw in the sides of the trim. So this line, we're just going to duplicate on the outside right here. On both sides. Now we're going to draw the trim on the shoulder pad area. So right up here, we're just going to curve and just follow that curve all the way to the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right side, so curving all the way up. Let's finish off the belt. So from this corner here, we're just going to draw a short straight line coming down on either side of the belt. We're going to curve this in behind the buckle. Curving that in on both sides. Let's continue down the body. So we're going to draw the rest of the vest coming down behind the belt. So from this corner of the belt, we'll curve out and then down. Bring out. We're going to continue this line on the inside of the belt. So right here from the corner, we're going to step in a little bit and curve down and out. So we're just duplicating those curves. We'll connect those two points with a curve along the bottom. Now we're going to trim this out. So we're going to continue this trim down here and along the bottom. So we'll follow that curve coming down to there and then curving up out to the side. Do the same thing on the right side. Let's work our way down towards the legs. So just in the middle here, I just want to draw the lower torso line. So just a curve going across like that. We're going to draw the inside part of the leg. So from the left point here, we're going to step in towards the right and curve down and out. So it's bending outwards. On the right, we'll do the same thing. With two short lines, we want to leave room for the boot cuff along the bottom. So from this point, I'm going to curve the bottom of the pant. Going across on both sides. Now here we want to tuck this in underneath the bottom of the vest. So we're just going to extend this line. So it's sort of going out this way. For the boot cuff, from the corners, we're just going to curve them down and outwards this way. Do the same thing on the right. Now we just have to connect those two points on either side with a curve for the bottom of the boot cuff. Let's draw the boots. So from here we're just going to step in. Just draw a curve down towards the heel on both sides. From here we're going to draw on the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, we're going to draw really small feet. Like that. And we're going to just tuck this in underneath the boot cuff with a curve. Both sides. Let's draw on a little sole. So we're going to take this bottom line and just duplicate it just above to thicken up the sole. Let's draw in the arms. So I'm just going to have the arms hanging down on the side. So right here, about halfway down the body, right here, I'm just going to draw in the bicep area. So just a curve going out towards the left. We're going to work our way down towards the wrist. So just at the bottom of the curve, curve down towards the wrist. Now we're going to have to draw in a thumb. So it's basically a curve that comes around like this. Almost looks like a banana. And curve down. We're going to round out the thumb. And then just go back in the same direction. So it's curving back. From here, we're going to curve the first finger coming down. We're going to round out the tip of the finger and then just pull that back up. We're going to layer in three fingers here. So at the bottom of the finger here, we're going to curve out again and up. And then for the third one, we're going to step down, curve around towards the wrist. Now from here, we want to bulge out the arm and go back up underneath the shoulder area. So curving out like that. From these two points in the wrist, I'm going to connect them with a curve for the wristband. Do that same curve just above it. We'll do the same arm on this side. So starting on the inside of the bicep right here, we'll curve out towards the right. But the bottom of the curve, come down towards the wrist. Now from here, I'm going to curve the thumb. I'm going to round out the thumb and then just pull that back in with that same curve. And then from here, we're just going to round out the finger. So the first finger coming down, round out the finger, and then just pull that up. I'm going to come down to the side of the finger at the bottom curve up again, and then for the third one right up here, we'll curve up, and then just come in towards the wrist line, just like we did on the left. From here we're going to pull this up underneath the shoulder area, just coming up like that. Let's draw on the wristband, 
So from point to point on the wrist, curve across, and we'll do that again on top. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Electro Wizard from Clash Royale. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please make sure you subscribe and check out our Clash of Clans playlist. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.